Long ago during my childhood, I used to lie beneath the stars in Atlantis, a city buried in the depths of time. In that place, I dreamt of mysteries that transcended human beings. Over time, a deep desire was born in my heart to conquer the path that led to the stars. Year after year, I dedicated myself to seeking wisdom, exploring new knowledge and following my path. Finally, my soul, after experiencing great challenges, was freed from its bondage and soared in a glorious leap. I was free from the bondage of earthly men. Free from the body, my spirit shone through the night. Finally, unlocked for me was the starry space. I was free from the bondage of the night. Since then, I dedicated myself to seeking wisdom in the far reaches of space, beyond what human knowledge can encompass. My soul traveled through space, exploring the infinite circle of light. In my journey, I encountered strange planets, some of unimaginable dimensions, beyond the dreams of humanity. Nevertheless, I discovered that the law, in all its beauty, was present among them, just as it is among us. My soul shone through the infinite beauty of space, soaring with my thoughts. I rested on a planet of sublime harmony, where everything was imbued with perfect balance. There, shapes moved in order, majestic like stars in the night, dancing in harmony and balance as symbols of the cosmic and the law. Throughout my journey, I passed by countless stars and races of beings in their worlds. Some ascended like the morning stars, while others fell into the darkness of the night. All struggled to reach the heights and explore the depths, moving through realms of light and darkness in search of truth. You must know, O oh man, that light is your heritage, and darkness is only a temporary veil. In your heart lies an eternal light, waiting for the moment of liberation, eager to break the veil of night. In my journey, I encountered those who had conquered the ether. They were free from space, even while they were still men. Using the force that is the basis of all things, far away in space, they built a planet, drawn by the force that flows through the all, condensing the ether into shapes that grew at will. Some I found who had conquered the ether. These beings excelled in science and wisdom, being the children of the stars. For a long time, I watched in admiration their ability to create magnificent cities of pink and gold from the ether, the primary element that is the basis of all matter. My soul continued its journey through the cosmos, always discovering new and ancient things. I learned that the true human is born in space, as a child of the stars, a son among suns. I understood that our wisdom is nourished by the heritage of the sons of light who walked among us, and our strength is derived from the eternal fire. With humility, I bowed to the lords of life and the lords of death, receiving the key to eternal life as a gift. Beneath the flowers of eternal life, I sought the hearts and secrets of men. I found that man is living in darkness, while the light of the great fire is hidden within them. Before the lords of the hidden Amenti, I learned the wisdom that I give to men. Wisdom comes to all its children, just as they come to wisdom. Throughout the ages, the light has been hidden. Awake, O oh man and be wise. Open your mind. I have shared my wisdom with you. Follow the path as I have guided you. Your bodies are nothing more than planets orbiting their central suns. When you attain the fullness of wisdom, you will be free to shine in the ether, just like the stars that eventually yield their light to the great source. Thus, O oh man, the soul advances forward, leaving darkness behind. Raise your flame from the darkness, escape the night, and you shall reach freedom. Now, O oh man, by acquiring this knowledge, my soul was filled with joy, and I was finally free. Listen, 
you who were born in space, heed my wisdom. Do you not understand that you too can attain freedom? Listen once again, O man, to my wisdom, so that by listening, you can live and be free. You are not of the earth. You are a being born of the infinite cosmic light. Do you not recognize your heritage? Do you not know that you are truly the light? Like the sun of the great sun, when you gain wisdom, you will truly be aware of your kinship with the light. You will rise from the darkness to the heights, joining the light and the stars. Always follow the path of wisdom, only then can you ascend from the darkness. Let fear not dominate you, for fear is a slavery that keeps men in darkness. Silence holds great value, while an abundance of words lacks usefulness. Do not pride yourself above your fellow beings, lest you fall lower than the dust. The wise let their hearts overflow, but keep silence on their tongue. Man, listen to the voice of wisdom and pay attention to the voice of light. In the cosmos, there are mysteries that, when revealed, fill the world with their splendor. One who is free from the chains of darkness must first understand the immateriality of the material, the fire of the earth. For know that as the earth descends to the earth, so too does fire ascend to fire and become one with fire. He who knows the fire within himself will ascend to eternal fire and dwell in the eternal. Fire, the inner fire, is the most powerful of all forces because it overcomes all things and penetrates all things. Man is a star bound to a body until, in the end, he is liberated through his struggle. Only through inner work and struggle can the star within you flourish into new life. Free is the star of the realm of night, one who knows the principle of all things. Remember, O oh man, that everything that exists is only another form of what does not exist. Everything that has being is transitioning into another form of being, and you yourself are no exception. The destiny of every being progresses through the curves of the infinite all. In the depths of silence, you must begin by delaying until you are completely free from desires, free from the need to speak in silence. Defeat the slavery of words through the power of silence and abstain from eating until you have overcome the desire for food, for that is a bondage of the soul. Then lie in the darkness, close your eyes to the bright light, and direct the force of your being towards the center of your consciousness, releasing it from the chains of the night. Pray for the arrival of the light of the all. Mighty spirit of light radiating through the cosmos, draw my flame into harmony with you, lift my fire from the darkness, magnet of fire merging with the all. Raise my soul, powerful and filled with potency. Child of light, do not stray. Draw me with power to melt in your furnace, one with all things and all things in one. O light permeating everything, one with all and all with one, flow into me through the channel. Enter, so I may be free. Make me one with the soul of the all, shining in the darkness of the night. Let me be free from all space-time, free from the veil of the night. Turn your thoughts inward, not outward. Find the inner soul light. Know that you are the master. All else is drawn from within. Rise to the realms of brightness. Keep your thought on the light. Know that you are one with the cosmos, a flame and a child of light. Revealed before me, wisdom continually grew until I reached new knowledge. I discovered that everything is part of an all, vast and even greater than we know. I tirelessly sought the heart of the infinite throughout the ages, and as I delved deeper, I uncovered even deeper mysteries. Now, looking back through the eras, I understand that wisdom is infinite, constantly expanding through time, being one with the infinite, 
which is greater than anything we can conceive. Light comes only to those who strive. The path to wisdom is hard. The path to light is hard. Many are the stones you will find on the way. Many are the mountains to climb towards the light. However, know, O man, that he who overcomes will be released into the light. For well you know that in the end, light must prevail, and darkness and night will be banished from the light. Listen, O man, and pay attention to this wisdom. Just as darkness is part of existence, so is light. When darkness is banished and all veils are torn, light will shine from the darkness, emerging as a bright light on your path. Listen, O man, the sun is the symbol of the light that shines at the end of your path. Now I share with you the secrets. To discover the hidden power, you must know and conquer the fear of the night. Only through knowledge can you overcome your fears and access the light. Now I entrust this wisdom to you, a knowledge guarded by the masters, a knowledge that overcomes all shadows of fear. Use this, and you will become a master of the brothers of the night. Hidden and buried, lost to the knowledge of man, in the depths of the finite, resides the infinite. Lost but existing, flowing through all things, living in all as the cosmic mind. In all space, only one wisdom prevails. Despite appearances, all is one in the one. All that exists emanates from the light, and light arises from the all. For know that what is truly formed is formless, having form only to your eyes. Time and space move in circles. Know their law, and you too shall be free. Yes, you shall be free to journey through the cycles and pass the guardians who watch the gate. Deep are the mysteries that surround you, hidden among the secrets of old. Seek among the keys of my wisdom, and you shall find the way. The gateway to power is secret, but he who reaches it shall receive. Look to the light, O oh my brother. Open, and you shall receive. Move forward through the valley of darkness, overcome the dweller of the night. Always keep your eyes on the plane of light, and you shall be one with the light. Know that only through striving will the light pour into your being. Throughout the ages, knowledge has existed. It has never been changed, though it has been hidden in darkness. It has never been lost but forgotten by man. The key to the worlds that exist within you is found only within yourself. For man is the gateway to the mystery and has the key to merge with the One. Do not think that man is born on earth, though it may be that he has come from the earth. Man is a spirit born of the light, but without knowing this, he can never be free. Darkness surrounds those born of the light. Darkness chains the soul. Only one who seeks can hope to be free. You are the key to all wisdom. Within you is all time and space. Do not live in the slavery of darkness. Free yourself from the night, your own form of light. Great light that fills the cosmos, flows fully to man. Make his body a torch of light that never goes out. The flame is the source of all things, containing all things in potential. The order that sent the light is the Word, and from the Word, life arises and the existence of all things. Know, O oh man, that all that exists has being only by the law. Know the law and you shall be free. Never let yourself be bound by the chains of the night. Seek and learn that time is the secret by which you can be free from this space. Once, in a time past, I spoke with the Dweller. I asked about the mystery of time and space. I asked the question that arose in my being, saying, O oh Master, what is time? Then he spoke to me, the Master. No, O Thoth, in the beginning there was void and nothing, a nothing without time 
without space. And in the nothing a thought arose, determined, omnipresent, and filled the void. There was no matter, only force, movement, a vortex or a vibration of determined thought that filled the void. Time does not change, but all things change with time. For time is the force that keeps events separate, each in its own place. Time is not in motion, but you move through time as your consciousness passes from one event to another. Know that, though in time you are separate, in reality we are all one, existing in all times. Light is life, for without the great light nothing can exist. Know that in all formed matter the heart of light always exists. Yes, though bound in darkness, the inherent light always exists. Know that the future is never fixed, but follows man's free will as he moves through the movements of time-space toward the goal where a new time begins. The soul of man always moves forward, not bound by any star, but always moving toward the great goal before him, where it dissolves into the light of the all. Know that you will always move forward, guided by the law of cause and effect, until in the end, both become one. When man conquers the ocean and flies in the air with wings like the birds, when he has learned to master lightning, then the time of war will begin. Great will be the battle between the forces, great the war of darkness and light. Know that the gateway to power is secret. Know that the gateway to life is through death. Yes, through death, but not as you know death, but a death that is life and is fire and is light. Do you wish to know the deep and hidden secret? Look in your heart where knowledge is bound. Know that in you is hidden the secret, the source of all life and the source of all death. Listen, O oh man, as I speak the secret and reveal the ancient secret. Darkness and light are both of one nature, different only in appearance, because each arose from the source of all. Darkness is disorder. Light is order. Darkness transmuted is light of the light. This, my children, is your purpose of being, the transmutation of darkness into light. 